Welcome to the June edition of North St. Paul Notes. I'm your host, Paul Anderson. Coming up in the next half hour, we're going to learn about two popular events, the Silver Lake Splash and the History Cruise Car Show. Stay tuned, North St. Paul Notes is straight ahead. Hello and welcome to the June edition of North St. Paul Notes. We hope this show will keep you up to date on the news and events that are of interest to the residents of North St. Paul. Today we're going to learn about some upcoming events in the city. Later in the show, Paul Houliston will be here to talk about the History Cruise Car Show. Right now I'm joined by Ingrid Kohler and Becca Lassen to learn about the Silver Lake Splash. Well, welcome back, ladies. And Thank I should you. caution our audience that we <laughs> never know for certain what's going to happen when you two are on. Have the warning flag go on. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We right. don't have any beach balls this no year. No beach balls. So Last year we had to... beach balls tossed around the yes. set. Yes, yes. It was a, a little wild. Yeah. We just ha we have our mascot okay. uh, that we bring every year. But um, other well, we than do that... have cups of water, so who knows? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true, and it is called the splash. There is that too. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see what happens anyway. What's the date for this year? I know Saturday. It... So we're doing it Saturday this year oh, instead of Sunday. Yeah. I Switched didn't know it that. up a little bit to make it a little, uh, maybe user friendly for families to come on okay. a Saturday. Mm -hmm. And it is July 21st from July one, to 21. 1 to 5. Hasn't it usually been around the middle? or the Yes. Well, it's usually the late. third Sunday of, of oh, the month. Okay. But this year it's a Saturday. Um, and it usually is kind of on that third week of, weekend of July. You, you expect that uh, Saturday is going to be more popular? Is that we wanted to try a Saturday because, um, well, I, I'm not sure why we picked a Sunday to begin with, but mm -hmm. um, we know that it does sometimes conflict with family schedules. Um, and then also, uh, we think it, it's, it, the city was kind of excited to hear that it was going to be held on a Saturday okay. because Public Works helps us a lot with sure. um, providing porta potties and extra garbage cans right. and things like that. And um, so they were, they were kind of having to do, this way they can do more work on a weekday kind of when they're normally scheduled sure. the, you know the day before and um, I think it's just might be a little bit easier on the public works department okay um, we'll try it this sure. year I think I think it's gonna it may work out just nice. fine I, yeah. yeah I don't see why it would make a big difference but right. Saturdays sometimes are more open for families I suppose mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so um, for those who might be viewing us for the first time or haven't seen you two before can you give us a little background on how this whole thing got started? Sure. Um, this will be our ninth annual. So nine years ago, um, the city made a decision to, um, it was a tough year um, financially. Mm -hmm. There was the recession happening. And um, they decided to take li the lifeguards out of the city budget okay. for that year. Mm -hmm. um, and so several neighbors got a little alarmed by that idea that, that this uh, this beach that is very popular sure. in the summer might not be guarded. Um, mm -hmm. And so we, we just kind of started this groundswell of um, people. We, we just started walking around talking to neighbors and saying, how do you feel about this? And, and so many people felt strongly that there still should be lifeguards that mm -hmm. we decided to um, call that to the city's attention, invite the mayor and the city council to a beach meeting. So so they could hear residents mm -hmm. talk about how important that was to them, um, talk about their concerns. Um, right. And so, and then the city um, was very responsive and um, reversed their decision hmm. to take away that funding. Um, and, uh, and, and at that point, we thought, well, let's just, let's have some sort of fundraiser mm -hmm. now that we have the, this interest. We know, we can identify there are a lot of people who care about this issue. Let's have a fundraiser and, I don't know, help 
help earn some money toward sure. this so that this never happens again. Yeah. So uh, it's been, you said, nine years now. This, this will is be the, the ninth. ninth. Yes. Well, that's quite a... <laughs> that's, yeah. Sometimes you get into something that you don't realize <laughs> will happen. <laughs> you warned me, too. That first year, Paul, who organized the Ice Cream Social, uh, he, he and men, the Historical Society right. mm -hmm. put that together. And he, I remember saying, yeah, we're going to have this big party and it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a lot of work. But, and he's like, oh, you have no idea. <laughs> do you remember that conversation? Oh, yeah. I guess oh, yeah. I he, do. He right. kind of tried to warn me. But, and, and he's right. It is a lot of work. Um, but it's been a really worthwhile event, I think. And um, it has drawn, you know, we, we always say we want to attract uh, people to the event, but also just we just want to bring awareness sure. to the to um, to the importance of mm -hmm. having lifeguards at this sure. beach. Which um, and this year, safety. it's really nice that we actually have a couple of new committee members. Okay. Um, so Jackie has mm -hmm. joined us, mm -hmm. and um, a new neighbor to North St. Paul has oh. joined us, Christine. Really? Um, so um, and Tiffany from last year as well too. Yeah. So it's really nice that the community is jumping on board and really if they want to be part of the splash, especially it helps with Ingrid. I know the last maybe couple of years have been tough on her. Oh, sure. Um, putting this together. So That's she, a big job. she was really excited when we had a lot of help. Yes. Yes. Just know that you're not the first to ignore my advice. So, <laughs> so. Anyway, uh, tell us anything new that's coming. Uh, oh. New attractions, new... Yeah. Sure. Uh, well, vendors or yes, vendors. Actually, you hit it right on the head, Paul. Um, we're getting really focusing on vendors and crafters um, and information booths. We've mm -hmm. realized we have a lot of families coming in here that may be new to the area or not aware of certain services. Sure. So there's going to be a lot of information booths. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be crafts. So if people make jewelry or scarves or stools, cute little kid stools. Mm -hmm. Um, there'll be things for to do besides just play kid games. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that can draw some other types of um, families that don't have kids. They might want to come to the Splash and check that stuff okay. out as well, too. Sure. So we'll have maybe uh, about 30 different uh, vendors there available. Okay. I know you use a lot of volunteers. How many do you have now? And and do you need more? Yes. <laughs> Always, Paul. Thank you <laughs> for asking that. Always. Um, we... Um, it does take about 60 people on the day mm -hmm. to pull it off, probably even more than that now that I think about it. But uh, we'll just go with that number. Um, and we're, so we are always looking for people to help out, especially on that day, y you know, to run a kid's game for an hour or two, mm -hmm. sell tickets, um, uh, help us with set up, take down. Sure. Um, yeah. Um, we can always use the help. Sure. And they can find us on, we do, we have a sign up genius to make it really easy for people to volunteer. So you can just go up to signupgenius.com and you'll be able to put in um, our email, which is north or silverlakesplash.nsp okay. at gmail.com. They can search that and they'll be able to find the event okay. and sign up for a, a shift. Whatever. Can you say it one more time slowly? Sure. Silver Lake Splash. Dot NSP mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Okay, so Thank it's you. an easy access then. Yep. Sign people. up genius. .com. And you do take donations. We do. We do. <laughs> <laughs> we do not turn those away. Yeah. We have been so fortunate that several businesses in the in the city. I just think North St. Paul is great for this. There are mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. many wonderful local businesses that give not just to us to they support a lot of things sure. um concerts in the park uh you know just a lot of city events sure. and i just i we just feel very lucky that several businesses have um donated to our cause mm -hmm. it's and a, it's what's a very the, nice what, thing. the website that they can go to to donate north st Paul.com? <laughs> um, you can find us through the city's website. Dot org. And, dot org. North St. Paul. Dot org. That's if you were interested in, in donating. In donating, donation. yes. Okay. And if we're saying the wrong thing, you can always go to the city's website sure. and search for us that way. If that fails, call the city. They love taking your calls. Okay. <laughs> North St. Paul. Dot org. I have confidence. Yeah, right North St. Paul. Dot org. Thank yeah. you. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, so, um, one other question I was going to ask is, uh, will one or both of you be in the dunk tank? 
you will have a dunk take. Oh, I got a thing at that time that I have to do. Oh, yeah, so there's that, that. Oh, that yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I have so a no. thing, too. Usually you that, don't, but you, you have it. You oh, could sure, I'm all take. open, so. <laughs> But I, I don't dunk very easily. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> I tend to float. Um, my so, son actually asked um, if he could go in it. And I okay. said, you, he's only five, so oh, you need okay. to have better swimming lessons. But yeah. uh, we are looking for people to, we'll, we'll be busy at the event. Unfortunately, neither one of us can put a shift in there. You but, can't um, afford to. To, to leave your leave our post job. and right. be in the dunk tank. It might feel refreshing if it's a hot day, but yeah. Is it hard finding people to? Yeah. So we would love we would love some people to step up and uh, be in the dunk tank. That that sure. would be that'd be a wonderful way to to raise money for the okay. cause. Sure. Um, so uh, yeah. You're you're willing to have volunteers yes. come across, come along and yes. and, and do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, anything else you wanted to mention about the the whole? Well, program. the trout pound will be back. That was a really popular last year. So Midwest Extreme Outdoors is bringing their okay. trout fishing pond again. So they'll have that set up, teaching um, people how to fish. Um, they can take the trout home again oh, they can. towards I the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they'll be able to take them home. Um, I had some delicious smoked trout last oh. time. Oh. I did not do it, but they gave me <laughs> <Okay>. the smoked <laughs> trout. Well, that's interesting. So that'll um, be back. That'll be back. We like, like Becca said, we'll have more vendors. Mm -hmm. We're going to kind of switch things up. Um, uh, we're going to put the band, uh, the 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 canopy that was over the band. We're, we've had a, uh, a couple years where that's almost blown away. Oh, so sure. they would feel better just being in the shade. So we're moving them to right. the middle of the party, in the shady spot, kind of okay. in the middle. Um, and um, we're so we're, we're we're changing the layout a little bit okay. of it. Um, mm -hmm. But there still will be um, kids' games, um, food vendors, food vendors, the, the bounce house, the fire truck will be spraying water the whole time, okay. which is really it That's doesn't earn any money for the event, but it's just so fun to see sure. all the kids it's a big attraction. run through it. And yeah. um, uh, what else? Uh, the trout pond um, crafts. We will have crafts and the cash um, raffle and the cash raffle yes. and silent auction. And silent Wow, well, we have a lot of things. We have a lot of things going so on. So many things. <laughs> so many you forget. Yes, that's right. So well, um, we should have a list or something. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should write some notes about this. Yes. Right? When is that thing again? When's oh, the date? Something. Well, uh, repeat the date again and the time. Well, we didn't mention the time before. Oh. Yeah. Yes. July twenty-first. It's mm -hmm. a Saturday this year, um, from one. one to five. Okay, one to five. Great. Yeah. Well, we've been talking to uh, Ingrid Kohler and Becca Lassen regarding the uh, North St. Paul or Silver Lake Splash. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate your coming on the show again. And uh, even though we have repeated this before, I guess, but it, it's always interesting to find out yeah. new things that are happening. So thank you both. Well, and we, we appreciate being able to come on your show and... Uh, Okay. Let people know about it. Okay. And race some ruckus. Yeah. Race, yeah, yeah. Well, we're at least it wasn't quite as. <laughs> we forgot the as, beach ball. I, next year. Next okay. Year we'll bring the beach ball. It's time for a short break. When we come back, we'll talk about the History Cruisers car show.
Welcome back to North St. Paul Notes. I'm now joined by Paul Houliston, who is here to talk about the History Cruise Car Show. Welcome back, Paul. You've been here several times now, I believe. Yeah, a few. And Thanks for having me. Three or four, maybe. Something like that. So, yeah, right. I guess I'm not keep, keeping records, and you aren't, obviously, no. either. So, Anyway, the car show's coming up, but I was going to ask you, I never heard whether you answered this question before. What is your title as far as the position with the uh, history cruisers? Do you, um, have, do you have a title? Yeah, chief cook and bottle washer. Oh, okay. Basically. <laughs> and, um, I, I don't know if I have a title. I just uh, uh, part of the board that runs it. There's okay. about uh, five or six of us that okay. participate in that. Okay. And you're not looking for any fancy title then either? Uh, not particularly. Yeah, no. right. <laughs> uh, I know that you are, one title you have is a, kind of the gate, gatekeeper for the show. You're always down on 1st, mm -hmm. 7th Avenue and 1st Street. And uh, what you say determines whether or not somebody can drive through. Uh, yeah, sometimes, but basically it's a matter of uh, the vehicle being the right vintage. Okay. Uh, some people like to come in with their brand new cars, and that's not the format that's that we're not set no. up with them. So then they get turned away usually. Mm -hmm. um, what is the right vintage? Is it 1975 and older? Oh, okay. okay. So. I didn't realize that that they were not past 75. Right. And I think I mentioned before to you that I always like the the standard vehicles without conversions and. The older cars, yeah. maybe I can relate more to that because of my age. But yeah, we get a lot of them. Yeah, you know. yeah. They've been restored, you know, pretty much to stock. And right. Mm -hmm. So some some have been modified so much you can't mm -hmm. really recognize them what they were. Yeah, that's basically all you've got is the body. You know, everything else underneath it is all modern. Yeah, and, and I suppose there's a practical aspect to that that. Drives down the road nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the difference. Sure, yeah, can take it on all all roads, mm -hmm. not uh, not just the secondary roads, which some of them are uh, bound to be mm -hmm. driving on. Um, will the will the car show this year uh, be larger, or would be about the same as it was? Well, as far as the physical distance, it's still the same. It runs from First Street to Charles. Okay. Um, the size of the crowds, we never know. You know, yeah. there's no idea how that's going to work. Does out. anyone ever estimate? Well, a lot of people, including myself, like to throw a flyer at it, but you know, I don't really know how accurate we are. What What have you said in the past? Well, uh, I was talking to the police chief after our last show last year, mm -hmm. and I told him, I said, you know, we must have had ten thousand people down there, and he looked at me and he said it was more than that. So. Really. You know, in, on that night. On that night. One yeah. night. That's. <laughs> that's. But you know, it's really kind of hard to tell. Sure. You know. It's just when you say something like that, it just seems unbelievable because it. Well, it was a busy night. That's for okay. sure. Okay. Yeah, and it was a good night apparently. Oh yeah. One that yep. turns out a lot of people. It didn't rain. That's the, <laughs> that's, that's the biggest that, problem, absolutely. isn't it? Yeah. Not the heat so much as the as the yeah. moisture that comes down. Nobody wants to have their classic car uh, rained on. Well, not too many people like to stand out in the rain. Well, that's, so. there's that too. <laughs> or sit. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, well, it's always interesting to see the number of people that show up, and I think everyone who comes here for the first time is amazed to see that kind of a turnout and what happens to the main street. Actually, the, the streets have remained the same, but it seems that the parking lots have filled up much more than they were originally. Well, we've lost some parking lots too. There's to, that yeah. to development, which is a good thing. Sure. Um, but yeah, it's uh, some nights it's very difficult to park anything within three or four blocks. Right. You know, mm -hmm. We just have nights like that. Do you get many car owners who complain that there just isn't enough space for them, or that they can't find a place to park? Well, there are some, but uh, you know. Anytime you do any kind of an event, you're going to get a percentage of complaints about sure. something. You know. Yeah. 
And there's no way to tell how many people are actually local people. No. Uh, but I suspect there are quite a few who show up. I often, I can often see people that I know mm -hmm. down on the street, so. Yeah, it's, you know, as far as the spectators go, it's, it's hard to tell. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, car owners, we've had them come in from uh, all over, you know. Right. I get, got a call on a Friday afternoon, somebody said, how do I get to your car show? Mm -hmm. So we're coming down from Duluth and I went, really? yeah, oh. okay. Wow. So. Well, that's, that's fun to hear, but um, this, um, something crossed my mind and now it, it left me, but uh, will there be any new features this year that, that you can think of? That well, there's things uh, always in you know, being generated and in development, but sure. um, we do have a new food vendor, uh, which is a authentic Mexican uh, cuisine, oh. and they do what's called a, um, a taco in a pouch or a taco in a bag or something oh. like that, where apparently you carry it around and okay, uh, yeah. So, and uh, we have I don't know. We've got uh, again the uh, the St. Paul Canines and the sure. mounted. Uh, horse police they'll mm -hmm. be in a couple times like they always are mm -hmm. um, we've got uh, something I haven't witnessed but she was here last year and apparently she's coming back twice this year her name is Reverend Mary uh, and she blesses your pets oh okay. Which, okay. I don't have any pets but you know, I could probably use a blessing or two. <laughs> right. But uh, that apparently was very, very popular last year. Uh, really? Huh. Yeah. I, she doesn't bless the cars currently. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You know, she Maybe might be she... she might be throwing holy water everywhere. Yeah, I don't right. Know, you know, I have no <laughs> idea. But uh, you know, people call us up and they express interest and they want to. You know, apparently, I shouldn't even say apparently. I don't know what her whole you know, program is. All right. I know is that she comes down and takes a booth space and she blesses pets and people bring their cats and their dogs and, okay. uh, you know, it's, well, it's a, it's an event, you know. Sure. Yeah. Um, will the barbecue guys be back? Oh yeah. yeah. They will. They'll be back. That's pretty popular. I think. It's very popular. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've sampled that. That's yeah. He sells out early. Does he? Yeah. So it's better to get there early then. Well, you know, he's, I don't know, he's, he's usually sold out by eight o'clock and okay. you know, he, he cooks a couple hundred pounds of ribs, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess early would be better. But. Well, it's a good thing it's way up on the other end from where you are, otherwise. Yeah, well, I never be... get anywhere near that. Yeah, I imagine so. Um, you do have a website. Mm -hmm. You know what it is right offhand? www.historycruiser.com. Okay. Cruiser spelled with a Z. With a Z, that's right. Yeah. We all flunked out of school. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, that was probably John Prontrelli's idea in the first place, or was, uh, it, was it yours? Probably. No, it wasn't mine. Okay. No. Okay. John probably had his hand in that. Yeah. Yeah, I suspect so. Uh, a few years ago, I think we, I think we had John on. Uh, I can't remember for sure now. I thought he was well, I know he's been day. on the show, but yeah. I don't remember how many years yeah. back it was. It was perhaps quite a few years. Um, well, you're going to be in the same position year, this year, down on down on first and seventh. Yep. And I'll uh, be there, trying not to get run over. Yeah, it's uh, important for you to avoid getting injured, so you can come back another year. And there you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I appreciate your being on. Uh, Paul, and, and I think uh, uh, it's bound to be a success again this year. It, it always seems to. Well, you know, uh, the only thing that is a deterrent for us is rain. Sure. If we've yeah. got nice weather, we usually have yeah. a successful night. So. Sure. Um, well, thanks again for being on. Well, thanks for having me. Okay. We've been talking to Paul Huliston from the History, History Cruisers Car Show. We're out of time on this month's show. Join us again next month when we'll bring you more news about North St. Paul. I'm Paul Anderson, speaking for everyone at the City of North St. Paul. Thank you for watching.